Okay, looks like a <clears throat> match is going to happen soon. Okay, we're playing another 28Q. <laughs> hmm, I'm Sente. I go first. See how he wants to defend this area. It doesn't, okay. Ooh, bad move, huh? He's, uh, I was threatening to take here and, and fork these two pieces. So I can push forward and promote. Anyway, yeah, he had to take my pawn, and then I would take back, and he could drop a pawn, and I would go back. I mean, it would kind of work. Ha, huh. so... The, um, bishop moved. I don't know, let's just take care, get a piece in hand. Also threatening to take the uh, knight here. I mean, I assume he's going to take. He can only take with the rook or the gold and then the knight is not defended so I can take there and if he takes the gold it'll even be with check so I should probably take with the rook anyway so I have a fellow beginner here he took with the gold okay so then this is a fork but uh, my opponent is 28q and I'm 24q so I guess there is a difference. King ran. The gold is defended. Okay, so that fork doesn't really gain me anything. The um, lance is defended by the bishop. The gold is defended by the rook. He could drop a pawn here to try and trap me. Okay, so we'll retreat. Okay, Bishop retreated. Yes, I will open this up. Hey, Gabri, how you doing? I'm doing good. First game, caught me right away. Do you know, uh, <laughs> I forget, are you one of the fellows who knows, uh, one, of the, one of the viewers who knows Shogi? Okay, he retreated his uh, gold. I'm not sure why he did that. Um, Let's just uh, prepare to castle here. Push to pawn. You're doing well too? Good to hear. First game ever in Shogi Wars? No, I've, I've played a few times. You can see by my rating here, I've, I've had about six wins. Because <laughs> every time I win a game, my rating seems to go up. And you start out at 30Q. Oh, he dropped a pawn, so he wants to keep me out of uh, his camp on this side.
so yeah, Shogi Wars is pretty tough. I, I lost a game last week uh, where I had a checkmate in one, and uh, I saw it, and I was about to play it when I ran out of time. <laughs> but uh, well, I'd been losing earlier in the game, and then I my opponent blundered, and I managed to turn it around. Okay, so we're making a castle. I could have played more aggressively here, I guess. Ha, huh. so the knight to here to here would concentrate on this square, which is already well defended. Okay, the um, pawn came forward. So I don't know what my dragon is doing out here. I moved it there to avoid being trapped inside my opponent's camp. And then, um, and it also was chasing the rook, I mean the uh, bishop. The bishop retreated. And then the dragon hadn't moved since then. But anyway, yeah, I was just going to start moving my pieces towards the king. And after softening it up, I will have, I will have pieces I can drop. Anyway, he's got this square for his knight. Let's see. What if we trade bishops? Does he have any good bishop drops here? Here, here, or in the back? Okay, um... So if I push this pawn here, so go forward. And his rook, his rook is behind it. Yeah, I guess I don't want to move that pawn really. I'm going to uh, bring the knight out. and maybe retreat my uh, dragon all the way back, maybe swing it across. stepped up. There's the knight. Now am I threatening? I might be threatening to take here. But if I take, he uh, trades. I don't have a good... Um, I don't have a good... Oh, now I could take it. Though. Yeah, I really want to attack his king, <laughs> but uh, my pieces aren't pointed that way, are they? Or maybe I break through here. I 
So if I drop a knight here, it hits the gold. But then he's got this uh, pawn. And I'll drop the knight there, and I could drop the other knight here to defend it. I could push this pawn, have him take it, and then I could drop something here, defended by the uh, knight. Okay, I'm still ahead on the clock. That's good. I know it's important to be ahead on the clock. See, if I dropped a silver here, he would just take it. So better to drop a pawn there. Take, he takes, then drop a silver. That doesn't work. I mean, there is a fork to be had here, right? Between the, the rook and the bishop. If I dropped a silver here, I'd fork those two pieces, but it's also covered by the gold. And the bishop. Okay, so pawn drop. Oh, I have to push a pawn first. Let's see how he takes, or if he takes. And then I could drop a pawn here. Could drop a silver here that would fork the um, rook and the gold, I guess. That's it. Drop the silver there. It'll, I mean, just trade the silver for a gold, but it'll also remove one of the defenders around the king. can't quite see my rating. Yeah, my rating is 24Q. And my opponent's rating is 28Q. Yeah, it got clipped off there. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so he took the pawn. So I'll take and promote. Yeah, I expected him to retreat. But now this is defended. Okay, let's drop the silver here. So now it's going to just become a contest of if I can uh, break through on time. Turn this into a mate. <laughs> okay. Backstabbing silver. <laughs> uh, cute. Cute name. Okay, this is pointing into my camp here. Uh, and these squares are not covered, are they? But how about if I make a bigger threat, huh? I, I get my um, gold into his, I mean, dragon into his camp and attack his, his uh, rook. I've got two golds I can drop. This is pinned. So I could drop a gold here, hitting the silver. Dropping a knight somewhere, maybe possible. Yeah, he goes there to defend. Now let's drop the knight here, or the gold here, because now it hits his uh, rook. 
Hits the rook. Let's see. How about if I uh, made this a little smaller? Would that uh, should be able to see my... Uh, almost. You can almost see my rating. Okay, what did he do? Oh, he put a, uh, he put a silver there. Okay, I'm going to take that rook. I like rooks. Okay, the king took. That's logical. Now, if I drop something here, it's no good. I mean, how do you do this? I could drop a, uh, I can drop a rook over here. He's going to step up and I could drop a gold if he steps up. He might have a piece he could drop. He could drop a gold here and then I could take his lance. He did. Okay. Okay, he got a promoted bishop and it's hitting my lance. And it's also defending along here, so let's be careful about that. Oh, let's see. If I drop a lance here, he will take it. Okay, I could just take here. He takes with either the rook or the silver. Or if I drop something here, he takes it. It's so weird to finish, so hard to finish the game. Uh, I really want to uh, attack this with a knight or something. Oh, okay. He ran out of time. Yeah, so if he takes, then I can take back with the knight and uh, I'll have another piece. And uh, I just got promoted to 23Q. Yes, you get to see that. And let's see. Okay, and I made the window small enough so you can see my rank now. Uh, I get a break from the music. There was a hard Tsume after his bishop promotion. Ah. I can believe that. Uh, maybe I'll look for it afterwards. So anyway, that answers my question, Gabri. You're you're one of the shogi players. Well, welcome, welcome to the stream. Let's try again. That was uh, one of my few gen wins against a real player. Most of my wins have been against uh, you know, the the broken, the uh, weak weak robots they have playing. Let's get another one. Okay, 23Q versus 3Q. <laughs> and I am Sente again. Yeah, well, we, we had good luck with the pushing the Rook Pawn last time. Now it won't be so easy. See, so he defends that square. Good, good move. That's what I would play. Ooh, a bishop exchange. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what uh, the announcer just said there. It was Bishop something. Kaku Gawari. Well. These kind of games are hard because you have to always be thinking about where your where your bishop is going to drop. Okay, he's going to uh, promote the fourth file, it looks like. And where your opponent's bishop can drop. I'm just going to walk my king over to a castle. I 
think I'll go all the way into the corner. Ibisha Anaguma. Okay, so he didn't... Um, well, there's no bishop defending the square anymore, so I can push. Takes, I take. Is there a bishop drop here or here? It hits something. Looks like everything is defended. I have a bishop drop here. Uh, rook. It promotes a knight. Okay, so threatening to bring my rook in here. Kaku Gawari. Yeah, that's what he said. I just don't know what Gawari means. Kaku is bishop, right? Ah, so he defended the uh, promotion there. Could do like a dangling pawn here. a defensive pawn. Okay, so I could take the bishop and it's a trade. I'll take back with the silver, I guess. I could take with either the knight or the king as well. Yeah, let's get my silver into the game. Okay, he's going to play here, so I need to be able to retreat my bishop. Or trade. Yeah, I have to trade now. Technically, Kaku means bishop and Kawari means exchange. Oh, so it's just a bishop exchange opening. Okay. Ah, what now? I kind of want to drop my bishop again, but I suppose that's a bad thing to always want to be wanting to drop your bishop. <laughs> If I open up this diagonal, he can drop his bishop here, huh? Let's push a pawn. He's got like a fourth file rook. He's got a time advantage too. He's gonna have to think eventually, I guess. Anyway, thank you, Transport. He pushes a pawn too. Okay, so now we can't drop a bishop here, so I can uh, push this. Except uh, he can push the pawn again, and then then I can drop a bishop. I can't. Then he can drop a bishop. Yeah, he did that. Okay, let's get the uh, knight up there at least. So if he drops a bishop, uh, I will. Yeah, I will have a piece I can defend. Now, do I defend from behind? I 
then drop here maybe so that my uh, lance is defended. So now I can drop a pawn here, trapping the bishop. <laughs> I think uh, the Shogi Wars music is part of the whole experience, so uh, I'm going for it. Okay, so he's saying that um, if he takes... I think I can play this, right? I maybe didn't think long enough there, but um, if he takes, I'll take back with the knight. And it's defending everything along here, and the, the bishop has no moves. Okay, he can do that. That's true. Hmm. I see. Okay, now I've got a silver in hand as well as a bishop. Let's drop the silver here. Okay, let's uh, take this pawn then. Threaten to drop a pawn here. He can push this pawn forward, attacking my silver or forcing it off this diagonal. But I'll be attacking his knight. He'll be, he can take this pawn. But the knight's not defended, so I could take the knight. The game gets more exciting as it goes on. Ah, he did this. Okay, um, so let's uh, drop a pawn here. Oh, 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 I thought that was defended. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Okay, let's take the knight at least. Um, yeah, at least I get the silver. So yeah, he won a whole gold. Well, it's gold for a knight. And uh, now he's going to get another gold for a silver. something clever. I could drop the uh, knight here, but it doesn't actually trap anything. Ah, oh, so he takes my silver. He's planning something. He's got some kind of plan here. I was going to take the gold when he dropped it there. I got two pieces for the gold. What does he got? He's got a silver and a rook. He drops the rook there. Okay, maybe so he can promote. And um, I've got a bishop. So, yeah, I have a nice uh, fork, except this pawn is in the way. <laughs> is there a way I can move that pawn with tempo? Knight. Ah, knight, two silvers, two golds, and a bishop. Two bishops. I should be able to do something here, but I'm not seeing it right now. Well, let's go ahead and get the check in anyway. Oh yeah, now it's this music gets more exciting. As we said... Why won't it let me take... Oh, that's because it's my own piece. So I dropped a defensive gold here. 
He gave up a lot of material. I don't think uh, defending here is a good idea. Okay, dropping a pawn to dislodge my bishop. So he wants to check and get the... Uh, he wants to check and get a knight here. Uh, dragon. So he takes a push and then drop a bishop to pick up the dragon. So he drops the bishop first. Ooh, covering these squares. So let's um, let's drop a silver here. Make it tough for him to defend. I'm going to lose on time probably now. Make it tough for him to attack. Hmm. That's why he wanted that. Um... Oh, he dropped a uh, gold there. Huh? Clever. Dropped a rook there, I mean. So I drop back to defend the knight. He can take the lance and promote. He can bring another piece in here. Oh, we're just taking the stuff. Okay. That's probably good, too. <laughs> he got me. Okay, he did. It was a nice sume. A nice uh, checkmate. He uh, distracted that piece and then dropped a gold there and that's checkmate. So that's what a stronger player plays like. Good game. Let's see, 1043. I think uh, I'll play one more game. You see, so when I lose to a, uh, a 3Q, it doesn't really affect my rating. <laughs> it stays the same. Whereas when I win against um, somebody usually they're in my own rating category or one of the bots uh then my rating goes up so my rating is gradually increasing here i just haven't played that many games yet one more game and then i'll switch to go Okay, against an 8Q. I'm Sente again. Here, let's uh, do a ranging rook opening. I've been playing static rook openings. He does a ranging rook opening too. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. So yeah, normally my king comes over here. Do I still want to do that? I don't know. I'll find out. He switched. That's a little bit strange, isn't it? Why would he bother to uh, put a rook on the third file and then switch? Did he maybe make a uh, typo of some kind? Ah, that was a bad move, huh? Because I want to put a pawn here. When his uh, rook takes. Okay, well, anyway, let's... Uh... Like so. Ah, oh, he went back. It was interesting. He didn't necessarily have to go back. He could have taken. 
Anyway, let's see if we can drive the bishop off that diagonal. We did. All right, then. We have some success, then. This is the weirdest castle I've ever seen. <laughs> well, maybe not ever seen. It is a strange castle. So I want to push this pawn. He'll take it, and then I drop a pawn. I don't have a pawn to drop. Now I switches to this file. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, now I can push this pawn. Thank you. So I can run away with the king when he pushes this <laughs> takes with the lance. Okay, he's getting a pawn in hand, I guess. Oh, he's uh, making room for a knight. Ah, I spotted a knight fork there. Good job. So now I have a lance, I have a pawn and a knight in hand, rather. I was thinking of going after his ruck here. But it could go here. Well, let's... Uh, oh, I can't drop the pawn. <laughs> let's not do that. If I push the pawn, he'll just take it. I should probably start attacking something because uh, otherwise he's got like a free hand here. Also, I'm moving quicker because he's so much ahead of me on the clock. We'll do a little climbing silver attack along the fourth file here. And maybe I'll find use for that. What was that? Was he assuming I was not... <laughs> was he assuming something about my play? Or is he a, uh, a robot? Sometimes robots do that. They like do really stupid moves. Knight here, he just takes it. Pawn here, he takes it. I take, he takes, I take. I can, I can drop a pawn there. Yeah, yeah, definitely a robot. Let's break into his camp. Okay, uh, he's distracting my... Uh, my uh, potential dragon there, but then he didn't take advantage of it. Okay, pawn, I will take. Has he got a bishop in hand or anything? He's got nothing, okay. Let's take, and then the, then this can come in. Okay, the king runs, ah. So the bishop should go here. Let's put the, Hook here and promote it to a dragon. Then put the bishop here to uh, block the king's escape. Okay, now there should be a mate here. Uh, I could drop a, uh, I could drop a silver to start with. Because if he steps back, then I can drop a gold. If he steps this way, 
then I can also drop a gold. And I just have a bunch of golds in my hand. So this should be mate. Yes. Okay, so that was like the mirror image of the previous game. <laughs> and my rating uh, bumps up one more point to 22Q. Okay, well, thanks everybody, all you Shogi fans. I'm going to switch to play and go now. So uh, you can continue to follow me if you like. Here, let's let's exit this.